Hey, I've been hearing a lot of women talk about this struggle that they've had recently, and I'm wondering if you have it too. It's this thing called self-sabotage. <laughs> like, you know how to lose weight, right? You've done it a hundred times by now, but you just can't seem to keep the weight off no matter what. It's like as soon as you finally see the light at the end of the tunnel, a train comes and pushes you right back to the beginning of the tunnel. And that train driver is you. And you just can't seem to stop failing, like eating too many chips at the barbecue, even though you planned so well for it, or skipping three workouts in a row, even though you were so excited to start this new workout program that you got. Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You are not self-sabotaging. You've just been doing all of the right things without first removing what brought you to this place in the first place. And it's like you have this beautiful bed of flowers, right? And you're trying to pile it up on top of a bunch of weeds and poo. And the flowers are not going to grow very well or smell very nice, are they? Well, in order for the flowers to blossom beautifully and do their job, you first have to remove the weeds. And your weeds are all of the subconscious beliefs and the behaviors that have been ingrained into you from a lifetime of just living. And they've brought you to this place where you are unhappy with your body. And you can't just pile a bunch of new shit on top. You first have to remove what brought you here in the first place. Some examples of what your weeds might look like would be believing that carbs are going to make you fat because you were told this when you were growing up and you have a lifetime of eating carbs and not liking your body to prove it. Or it could be saying that you lack motivation, you lack self-discipline. It could be restricting your diet so much during the week so that you don't feel so bad if you overeat on the weekends. Or it could be barely eating all day long just in case you feel like having ice cream tonight or your boyfriend says he wants to order in a pizza. So you've been trying to cover all of this up with you know, keto or macros or intermittent fasting, which clearly aren't working for you that well, or else you probably wouldn't still be watching this video. So you need to put your focus on creating a solid foundation first, a great relationship with food, a great relationship with exercise, a great relationship with yourself before you can see the long lasting results that you've been dying for. And I know that you've been thinking that you can worry about all of this stuff later once you've finally lost the weight, once you finally, you know, have your goal body, but that hasn't worked for you yet, has it? So you need to flip the script. You need to do that stuff first. That is the only way that you are going to have your goal body and feel so good that maintaining it is easy.